Game of Life! Welcome back, family. Oh, I'm so glad you all made it back to my people that been watching the show. Love you for it. If you're new to the show, it's the Game of Life. I'm your host, the real OG. Uh, here we do community. We talk about community topics. Uh, we are natural. Our mantra is uh, health, wealth, and happiness. We're trying to help you find some of that health, wealth, and happiness in your life. Um, hopefully, that's the people that we attract here to our show. Um, those people that... Now, yeah, I ain't going to say that. That would be bad of me to say that. So I won't say that. <laughs> but uh, I believe the people that's catching this are um, people that are motivated in life and looking for um, successful things and creative. I truly believe that. Um, Y'all please be... Uh, Hitting those likes and shares. Please leave those comments. Um, out there in the social sphere. Um, Y'all definitely hit the the, the, the the subscribes and all that good stuff for us. Um, people that's on the network. S-U-N-D-I-A-L dot TV. Um, loving y'all for viewing. My people out there in the social sphere. Really need y'all to go over there, check it out sometime. Um, but we're, we're moving and moving and moving and moving. And um, I'm sure this family is going to get bigger and bigger over a, a short period of time. That's uh, 7 p.m. You can catch us here Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Wednesday, new shows. Friday is a repeat. And we're going to be bringing some more stuff here off the Sundial Network. Uh, people that's watching on network and you're trying to see some of the old shows, go to our YouTube uh, pet channel. That's at Sundial Network. That's S-U-N-D-I-A-L Networks. And check that out. Um, I guess we're going to be getting on it and to the show. Uh, I know a lot of y'all rather me do a lot of that stuff at the end. <laughs> y'all can get right into it and I'm sure a few of them to skip to the, to, to the good part. Of, of what we do um, here. Today's topic is going to be on mastering time and uh, just trying to build uh, people up and, and understanding. Um, this is going to probably wind up being a two part series. Um, how do you value your time out there? And um, I think all of us need to kind of really get a real harness of this you know what I'm saying you know because how you value your time and this is going to be more like mastering time because I think we had one about valuing your time and I hope all of you all out there are valuing your time and I truly value your time when you're here I'm trying to be giving you something to inspire you to help build your communities wherever you are um and, 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 and click a little light on in your spirit inside. Um, what really really matters to you? Um, that's a definite question. And I really want you all to be asking yourself that. You know, um, what really matters to you? Do love matter to you? Is it money? Is it your relationship? Is it your family? I mean, it, it, is it greed? I mean, what is it? What 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 actually motivates you? Is what I'm asking. Um, out there, most of us out here in the world are majoring in uh, minor and very small things, you know, focusing on stuff that really don't matter at the end of the day. And we get caught in a spiral. I mean, you get to thinking this is so important, so important, but you're missing out on, on life, on what really, 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 um, should matter to you. If you know, um, I mean, so many people out here, they they know more about a celebrity or a sports figure or about what's going on in their life, you know, if they got some drug problem or, or who they messing with and, and just so into that, that um, they know more about 
those lives than they do know about if they're young than their parents. <laughs> and if they're older, know more about that than their kids or the people that they're associating and building those healthy relationships with. So um, we uh, want to be tapping into that mind um, because what you want out of la out of life, la la la, la tongue tie. <laughs> uh, what you want out of life is gonna create your heaven or your hell where you at. And I guess that's another question to ask. You know, I mean, is your life a heaven or is it a hell? You know what I'm saying? And that's a a, a real question to be asking. You know. Um, a lot of us don't have time to really sit down and figure out, okay, you know, how am I going to get from A to B to C to D? I mean, usually we have A, B, C figured out, one, two, three, but then it stops. And um, we don't want you in that in that, that head space, you know what I'm saying? Um, because in the big picture, there are only a few things that really, really matter. And I want y'all to be grasping that out there. I want you to get a hold of this, um, like for real. Because mastering your time, you won't be having to repeat or having regrets about, you know, past episodes that, that happened in your life, you know. Um, but the big picture, um, the few things that really matter is your health, you know what I'm saying? Your state of mind. Um having love in your heart, um, building those relationships, um, your goals, and definitely having purpose. Now, when I said the health, I mean, if you got poor health, you know what I'm saying, where are you going to be at in, 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 in life, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not going to be focused on, you know, having a good relationship because you're going to be putting a, a, a damper on that relationship and I don't get me wrong, some relationships are built out of, you know, people taking care of that person and having that love and, and giving them some goals and purpose, especially when you don't have those goals and purpose in life. And that's why we here at the Game of Life, we try to um, build you up to have, you know, finding that purpose and goal. And um, what I'm coming from, I'm coming from, you know, a state of where the majority of us are in the world. I mean, this is uh, this is some simple stuff. I mean, most of us know um, most people aren't happy, you know what I'm saying, like truly happy. They going through life struggles, you know what I'm saying? And and don't get me wrong, we all going to have problems coming in and out of life. And sometimes you're going into a storm and sometimes you're coming out of a storm. But if you have your state of mind together, you, you're mostly going to be coming out of those storms, you know what I'm saying, and riding those waves of, of good times and good life for a strong period of time. Now, that's why I'm I'm saying this so y'all you all can really get it, you know what I'm saying? So you can find your target, you know what I'm saying? Find your target of where you're going and what you're trying to get out of life and um not wasting that time because it, it, it's it, it's very easy to um be doing something for so long and not even truly loving what you're doing. I mean, what are you really doing with your life if you're not enjoying, at the end of the day, where you're going and where you're trying to get to? And definitely building um, our kids and our young people up to have a true understanding of, you know, what is this? Because they see you doing time wasting things, then they're gonna pick up those same same habits. And we talked about that on on previous shows about habits. You know what I'm saying? Because habits is gonna determine, you know, how you 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 do things in, in life. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, we want to be major and 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 major things and understanding what is uh what really matters. Because that, that simplifies things for you to be able to find joy. And, I mean, the main thing we're going to be trying to do is getting to the point of um, having a good state of mind. Just building that up. Because um, having that good health and having that state of mind. If you got bad health 
a poor state of mind. You already know what the conditions are. You, this is <laughs> this ain't no pretty picture. Um, and, and so we want you to be definitely, you know, really grasping that. You know what I'm saying? And, and having love in our heart. Now, if you got these things going for you, you got somebody got good health, they got a good state of mind. They pretty much can work on everything else because they're gonna be moving and going and, and, and being po pretty positive throughout the course of life. So I'm assuming that they have that love in their heart. Now, when you have that love in your heart, a good state of mind, and, and a lot of us would be thinking like, oh, that's somebody that's going to get messed over on and on and on, you know what I'm saying? A happy-go-lucky type of person, you know what I'm saying? But this happy-go-lucky type of person is really that unique person in life because on average, most people have Poor health. I'm talking about the average person out here has poor health. You know what I'm saying? They may have a physical appearance of good health, but because you're skinny or small don't mean you have good health. You know what I'm saying? Going on. Don't mean you got a good state of mind going on. We got some big people that have some overweight, obese people that have a, a good um, thinking and mind that can figure stuff out. But I won't say the good state of mind because it would be then figured out, hey, look, I got to do something about this situation. You know what I'm saying? And never are we here trying to put anybody down. We're just trying to wake people up. We're trying to ring the bell. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we say get real here. I mean, I'm not finna be babying you. You know what I'm saying? Because we're here to help support people. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to be the one as they call um, the enablers. Enabling somebody to stay that bum on the street. You know them bums that's on the street. Every time you give them some money, they make him want to come back. And he's like, well, hell, I got $10, $20 last yesterday here, so I'm going to come back and give me 10 or 20 more. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't got no no motive to, to get out of that state. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with if you enabling somebody to, to stay on drugs. You know what I'm saying? You don't care because you want to keep them in that state of mind so you can take advantage of them. It's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So mastering that time and finding, you know, a target, you know what I'm saying, to be moving yourself and hopefully being a beacon of light out here to other people. That's what we want to we really want to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, most people never really sit down and ask themselves what really matters, you know what I'm saying? So I, I hopefully y'all didn't did that and and went through it and I'm hoping, you know, the majority of us out there already have goals and purposes since we went over that, you know what I'm saying? Have good, great relationships, you know, love inside your heart, excellent state of mind, and, and, and living a healthy, healthy life, you know what I'm saying? And um, we really want you to just start, you know, working on personal development, manifesting things into your life, and having the ability to make it real. That's um. That's you know sometimes a, a twofold. You you get started and then you get sidetracked, and um, it's so easy out here in life to get sidetracked by so many things. Um, but having the ability to make things real is actually a skill, because a lot of us have to sit there and wait for people to come show us. You know. One, two, three. Okay, now you four, five, six. Um, and over a period of time, that's why you go to school. You know, they teach you different things, your alphabet and all these different things. And um, that becomes like an ability that the majority of us have, especially in um, a first-rate country that, um, you know, has an educational system, you know, and has a set of laws and different things and government that's, actually focusing and you're learning you know some type of educational skills out here the basics so you know how to spell and talk and communicate with one another but um and that becomes a skill but um you want to be creating things out of um your emotion you know what i'm saying be and Emotion has passion behind it, you know what I mean? If you've ever um, seen people who not, you know, into whatever they're doing, 
and they just whole hum about it. It's like, okay, they doing me a half-assed job, you know what I'm saying? Um, you always want to be having that passion for whatever you're doing. That way you're bringing out that joy in your life, you know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be being happy with whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about um, money all the time. I mean, a lot of us, you know, get that locked in our brain, you know what I'm saying, and start thinking, oh, well, if I ain't got the money, I'm not this, that, and other, on and on and on. I mean, 80% of people out there, and we talk about the average person, you know what I'm saying, the average person is in that 80 percentile. And they don't know what they want out of life, period, you know what I'm saying? And you have um, about 10% that um know exactly what they want. They could tell you, hey, I want this house, I want this car, I want to do this, I want to do that. And they not doing it though, you know what I'm saying? And the majority, as we've spoke about before, they, you got to get specific with it. You got to get real specific with it. Now you got the other 5% that's out there that's um working, you know, toward what they want, but they got 20 different other things that they want. So that towel is coming very slow, you know, to getting where they want because they got 20 different things and they never finishing what they want, you know what I'm saying? So if they, and they don't have it wrote down. So that's one thing we got to be doing out there. Hopefully me telling y'all, have y'all pen and pads, you know what I'm saying? And writing down some of these things that help a few of y'all out there that you all that not doing that, please get in that habit, you know what I'm saying? Or writing stuff down. Now, we got the other 3 to 5% that the rest of the world is looking at. And they've mastered the time. They've mastered doing stuff. They don't waste their time, you know what I'm saying, um, because they know exactly what they're looking for. They know exactly what they want, how they want to get it. Now, it ain't got to be, like, super-duper specific for the whole thing, but you should know how you want your day to be going and finishing up, you know what I'm saying? Because if you don't, as I told you, the world out here will turn you into a slave. There's plenty of things out here um, to get you. And your mind be, will be working against you because the mind never stops, never stop. We've talked about that. So anybody that's a regular viewer here know what we're talking about here. The mind is built to think. When you go to bed, your mind don't stop working. It keeps on going. That's why you're having them active dreams. That's how you build up that subconscious. You know what I'm saying? So you you want to be feeding it what you want it to be working on. You know what I'm saying? That's why a lot of times a lot of us uh, have a problem and then we'll go to bed and if you get some good rest, you wake up, you got the answer. You're like, oh, I know exactly what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? I figured it out. You know what I'm saying? Because you kind of let it go and you, you went into the dream state. And now some of us build those fears up, you know what I'm saying? If you've got a lot of subconscious fears of other things, then you may go to sleep and be even more worse of a wreck and more nervous than ever when you woke up to handle your problem. Um, but just understanding that. But, yeah, we got 3 to 5% of those people that's out there just really killing it, you know what I'm saying? And that's who the, the world is really looking at. Because they've learned to master their time, you know what I'm saying? They've learned to um, balance yourself. And that's what we really, really want to be um, getting ourselves to. Um, do not please make the mistake of thinking movement is achievement. Because you're moving and you're doing something. You, I go to work every day. I do this. I don't know. That's, is, is, you may be just spinning your wheels. That's the part... We talked about being on that hamster wheel. You're just on the hamster wheel spinning out, going nowhere because you ain't never took the time to sit down and say, this is what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? This is what mattered to me. Because then you can go to work, come out, have a great hobby, and, and be fulfilled. You know what I'm saying? You got love in your heart, and you coming home, you giving love to your family, your family giving love back to you. That means you you have great relationships. If you got good friends and and, and, and real relationships with people when you walk into, um, if well, we say if you had a business and you go into another business that's working with you and they have a great rapport with you, you know what I'm saying? Then you probably have a lot of that going on. If you work at a job and you get along with your coworkers, you know what I'm saying? And it's a beautiful situation. Things don't really 
stick on you a, a, a long period of time, then you've mastered a lot of things. And that's an actual skill set out here. You know what I mean? That's a skill that you have learned, you know what I'm saying? And you have mastered. So we want you to be, we want to be, you know, being there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and mastering this time is a, it's a, it's a deep thing and it's going to help you go very, very, very far in um, this life, you know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, when we, we doing that, it makes things so much easier when you have, when you go into challenges and different things with passion and heart, you know what I'm saying? Um, when you um, create that emotion in your life, it's gonna have, it's gonna, it's gonna help you um, tackle it much, much, much better than um, somebody that's emotionless. They just going through and they just like, well, I'm here and they ready to go whenever they finish it. And yeah, you, you the master how to do it, you know what I'm saying? But you're not putting your heart and soul into it. That's why you see most of the people that's at the top of the, the um, chain and known to be great. You can tell they have a passion for what they do. There's a few people out here that's going to be in that me middle to maybe even high that you just have a natural talent for something. You know what I'm saying? You just learn it pretty easy and that was God's gift to, to, to you and you really don't appreciate it. You know what I mean? But those people that you can really think of that's at the top, you know, that top painter, you know what I'm saying? They did it with style. They like, no, I'm not finna shortchange. They may have said they was going to get commissioned to to do this for this price. But they like, no, I'm not finna put my work out there because this is reflecting who I am. You know what I'm saying? That's they putting their heart, their emotion into it. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, that's that, that's what you want to be doing. You know what I'm saying? You want to be having a beautiful mindset and um, putting life into whatever you're doing. You know, that's what we want to be definitely doing, you know. Um, now, we don't want to be uh, facing ourselves with false demons and different stuff like that because there's a lot of that going on out here, you know what I'm saying? And having fear will keep you from mastering a lot of things that you may have in your heart and your mind that you want to get to, you know what I'm saying? You know, fear, um, shame. Um, so some of us are outgoing, more outgoing. And we don't have the same challenges that a lot of people that may be, you know, introverts, they say extroverts or introverts. But a lot of those introverts are really good at um, doing little technical stuff. And um, just the opposite, the people that usually are those very outgoing, different people, um, they may not be as good to be able to harness and bring back that time. It's... um. A lot of people we, we may look at out there in the world and um, be like, wow, they got this, that, and the other. Or we've definitely seen it with a lot of our stars, you know what I'm saying? And, and especially in the day's time when we talk about the mental illness that's going on out here in the world. Um, you say, wow, they done done this, 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 and this. And they um, commit suicide or something crazy, you know what I'm saying? And... I mean, I guess I'm thinking um, Robin Williams, uh, Etta James, uh, a lot of people that just, you know, had a lot of um, wealth of spirit and knowledge base, you know, that they, they, they were, they were um, living in and um, just got caught up out there. Um, but hopefully I, I gave you all, you know, some good spirits here and um, put something to the mind state of, 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 you know, mastering the time and what you should be doing to um, get yourself there. They gave me my um, one minute warning. Um, so you all out there. Keep your keep your mind going, sit down, really take a, a, a real Look at what you want out of life, you know what I'm saying? Because um, most of us haven't done that. And we just want you to just slow down, take a real look at um, the big picture. 
the real big picture and get a, a grasp of your health, <laughs> your state of mind, get that love in your heart. Now, I know I talk about them haters out there, but I still got a lot of love in my heart, even for them. That's why I say I do it with love, you know, to that hater, y'all. Make sure y'all telling them that. And, 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 and those relationships. Make sure you got your goals and finding that purpose. Because that's how you're going to find it. You know what I'm saying? When you have that goal, that's going to help you master that time. Make sure y'all breaking out those calendars. You know what I'm saying? We got to have these time instruments not for anything. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to be definitely marking them dates down. And, and writing your goals out and just start achieving them. Start achieving them. Y'all make sure y'all drinking your water out there. Y'all being extra healthy. Make sure y'all giving love to your family and love to one another. Um, we're going to come on back because we're going to do a two-part series. And see you all on the flip side of this. <laughs> love. Game of life. A new TV channel, Sundial.tv. That's S U N D I A L dot TV. Urban culture, music, lifestyle, fashion, talk shows, comedy, and more. Check us out at Sundial.tv. TV lineup What happened to that one hit wonder? The battle. New versus old. Top 100 countdown. Old school mix up. Slow jam. Sundial so Put us in your browser. S U N T I A L dot TV. Live at Blackstone Smokehouse. Showcasing the Eclipse Band. And also featuring tomorrow's future talent and star. Only on Sundial Networks. Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the live bands, open mic talent, we have a treat for you. Only on Sundial Networks. Every Tuesday and Thursday nights, 7 p.m. Saturday, 8 p.m. If you're in the Flint area, please come to see the live tape at Blackstone, downtown Flint, every Thursday night, 7 to 10 p.m. A new way to watch TV on the web. Check us out. HiD.TV. That's H-I-G-H-D.TV. High Dimension Networks. The lineup. Top 100 of all time. Old school hip hop. What's new now? Top 10 from the street. That's my jam. New to the game. And legends in music. Yeah, that's right. It's about time. Something new in TV. A brand new game. New flavor in TV. High Dimension Network. H I G H D dot TV. When you're ready to go from local to global, Web TV can help you reach your prospective audience and hit the target with your product, service, or brand in a personalized ad campaign with business packages from every size of business. When you're ready to do some new and cool stuff, come and see us at Web TV. This could be your commercial being seen by thousands of viewers. You can email us at webtvmedia1 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you.